Hi everyone, my name is Anna, I'm a music producer. In this video series, I want to show you the simple way to create a track in live light. That's what I will achieve in the end, the heavyweight bass tune sounding similar to my music released under the name A Fruit. Firstly, let's quickly dive into the live system preferences and make sure that we can hear everything. I go to Live, Preferences, and in the Audio tab, I choose the audio device that I'm using. Right now, it's Focusrite Scarlett. I set it as an input and output audio device. I can hear the test tone sound, so I'm sure that the sound card is connected. In Ableton Live, you can work with two main views, Session and Arrangement view. Switching between them with these two buttons on the top right of the screen, or simply using the tab shortcut on your computer keyboard. These two views are one of the main features that make Live unique in a very powerful digital audio workstation, and that's what the design of the logo means. Session view is great for live performances and for creating new ideas fast while staying in loop. Arrangement view is the canvas for producing the song on the timeline and diving deeper into the details. On the left side of the screen, the browser is located. Here you can choose your sounds, instruments, audio and MIDI effects, plugins, and etc. And you can add here any folder from your computer. Under the browser, there's an info view, a very useful window where you can read the information about any part of the interface by hovering over it with the mouse. At the top of the screen, you can always find this section with indicators for link, tap and global tempo, the metronome time signature global quantization. Here is the follow button, your current timeline position, play, stop and record buttons. With these buttons you can enable overdub, arm the automation, re-enable automation, there's capture function and session record. On the upper right side you can activate draw mode, computer MIDI keyboard, key and MIDI mapping. Here you can see what's the level of your CPU usage, the overload indicator and the menu for this function. Next to the browser in the center are our tracks. They can be audio or MIDI tracks. In the session view, they are arranged vertically and you can add or create audio or MIDI clips on them. In Ableton Live Lite version, the amount of audio and MIDI tracks together is limited to 8, but actually it's even more than enough for creating a music track. By default, the tracks are empty, but if you add a device or a clip on a track, you will be able to see it in the detail view at the bottom of the screen. You can switch between a clip and a device using these two tabs at the bottom right. If I press tab and switch to the arrangement view, the tracks are now arranged horizontally and you can see that the timeline appears. Scroll and drag left and right to navigate through the arrangements, drag up and down here to zoom in and out. There is an overview panel at the top of the screen that you can also use to navigate in the arrangement by clicking and dragging it. You can show and hide different elements of your workspace using these buttons with a triangle or these toggles for showing and hiding ins, outs, sends, mixer and track delay sections. It's also important to mention that a right click of the mouse on different working areas will open different specific menus. Ok, now let's go forward and create our own track. See you in the second part of the series.